Hello everyone, welcome back to episode number 14 of the Club Rising with FC Magdeburg. Just before we start, I'd like to apologise for no real videos since uh, I think it was last Wednesday uh, when I did the England one. Just had a busy week at, at work, um, had a few days off and also sometimes I've enjoyed playing the game that much so you'll see when we when we get into the app that um, I've kicked on a little bit. Um, I was finding it a little bit difficult just playing a couple of games, I, I was wanting a, a bit of a sesh really. Um, and between that and getting a Chelsea save saved up, um, up and running, should I say, um, it's just been a few days. So I have put on a new schedule, which I think I'm going to take off. I don't think I'm going to stick to a schedule um, from now on. I will upload at least two videos a week, maybe three, maybe even four, depending on how quickly I can get things done. Um, I am a little bit limited with time and stuff um, during the week. So it's just a case of sometimes I don't have time. I literally don't have time to get stuff out. So what I'm thinking of is trying to stick to a, a schedule-ish, sort of like Tuesdays, maybe Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, um, there will be nothing Saturdays. I do like the Sunday ones, the Sunday morning ones, so I will try and make sure there's an episode goes out on Sunday mornings, and then it'll be a mixture between sort of like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, when either two or three episodes come out. The Chelsea one is up and running. Uh, I found it really hard to sort of like get, in, get it going, but it is up and running, um, and I'll try and get something sorted for that by the end of the week. Um, but this is episode 14, as I said, of the Club Rising. We have kicked on a little bit. Um, I think we're in October or something like that now. Uh, maybe not October, maybe September. Um, and we have made a, we've had a busy summer and we've made a big signing. Um, not in terms of names, but in terms of the old um, Bunsen burner. Um, so we'll get into it. Right, guys, so here we are. We are in um, <clears throat> 21st September. Um, we're six games in and I'm... <laughs> You'll see the first game of the season. Um, we actually played our rivals, Dynamo Dresden. You might, well, you probably will know if you watch FM videos. Uh, Loki Doki's just taken over as Dynamo Dresden in the uh, in his journeyman save. Um, they're in the Bundesliga 2 with us. And um, we played them the first game of the season. After that, I thought, we're in here. We're in for a season. And then, as you can see, nothing's changed. Um I've scrapped the 4-2-3-1 that I started with. I've just gone back to 4-2-4 and I'm undecided whether to drop it down a little bit. I, I am going to have to change something because we are letting in way too many goals. But we're also scoring. And we've been unluck in lucky in a couple. Um, but what I'll do is before I go through the schedule, I will go through the transfers. So if you remember, we had 2.1 million, I think, to spend. So we've pretty much spent it all. Um, and we had... I think we had about 60 grand in wages or something to spend. We've still got 15 grand a week that I can't see me really spending at all. Oh, but these are the transfers. So the big one is Thiago Pereira. He is a he was 17 when I signed him. He's just turned 18 in August. Um, five star potential. Five. He's only five foot ten, but a defensive midfielder, ball winning midfielder, and at the age of 18. Look at all these, especially his fitness, his teamwork, his vision, work rate, tackling. Um, hopefully, you know, by the time he's 21, 22, he is going to be some player. And what I've decided to do is I've just decided to bang him in and play him. Um, and then the others, he's, you know, to be fair, he's three-star ability anyway currently. So compared to the rest of the squad, he's pretty decent. And he's already racked up 7.31. Um, a red card already, but he's going to get that in his role. Um, he's made a really good start. Um, Keen Bryan, we'll go through him now, all the others. Uh, Manchester City released, he's just going to be a backup. He's only 22, um, got him on five grand a week, pretty cheap. Uh, just just back, just no more than backup. Um, Sean Raggett, he was one that I thought, yeah, he's going to be my starting man. I might actually go back to him because um, I'm not happy with one of the defenders that I've currently bought. Defensive centre half, which I always like to do, especially in the lower leagues. Heading 16, tackling 14, determination. Reach and fitness, 18. Paced in too bad since he's six foot five. I may go back to him. I may go back to him. Um, Connor Ripley uh, was brought in as a backup keeper. I might actually give him a run. I think I have given him. I think I've started playing him. Um, I have got Letner back on, on loan. Um, but I might give him. Hackenberg, bit of a balls up really. Another one that I was a bit short on centre halves. I just saw the height. It was 14s, 15s and I've, and I've got him in. Um, I think he'd actually played for Magdeburg before. Yeah, he'd had a couple of seasons. Um, 
bit of a rubbish buy. Now this guy, I'm pretty happy about. Look at all these, you know, as a good all rounder, ball playing centre half. The only issue is he can't head the ball. Um, he's six foot one, um, and he's had a good decent start for me. Um, even though he's a number ten, he's actually playing at centre half. Um, so like Kakai, released from Palace. Another one who's not really. Oh no, he has. He's, he's done all right to be fair. I think. I'm playing him more of a winger, which obviously doesn't suit him. I may change. I'm undecided whether to start changing roles and stuff, but um, it does make my squad a bit unbalanced if I start changing a little bit too much. There's Pereira. Um, Grippo was one player that I was quite excited about when he came in. Um, from Zaragoza as well, and he's had a bit of a stinker to start with, so he's the one that may feel the first sort of like wrath and get released, really. Um, Another one who's, you know, compared to what we had last year, a million times better. A million times better, but not really hit it. Um, Bubakar Barry, uh, mainly bought him because of his name. And also he can play in a variety of positions. He's, he's no more than backup. He's released from Bremen in the third league. Sorry, Brendan Tui was at last year. He had a decent season there, so I thought, right, he's on a free. I'll get him snapped up. And then on chance for deadline day, we bought in Diabate. Now, he on FM, I'm going to say 16, I think 16, he was a right player. A um, bit of a wonder kid or potential wonder kid. He's still, he's four and a half star potential. Um, started with two goals on his debut and then hasn't scored since. Just just a little, something a little bit different. Obviously, obviously quite quick. His finishing's not too bad. So they're the signings. Um, and then a lot of them have, we've let, Regan Poole and Heinick go out on loan, along with Zellum. Um, them two more to get game time, him because no one wanted him. So he's just gone just to clear the, the sort of the wage budget more than anything. Kozak went, and he was a B-teamer, Schneiden, and then Muller, who was a youngster. So we've not... If we go on to schedule... So we started with a 5-0 win over Dynamo Dresden at home. We absolutely mullered them. Um, 3 nil up after 15 minutes, Callum Gribben got a hat-trick. Um, we then followed it up with a 4-1 stuffing at Freiburg. Now, they've just been um, relegated from um, the Bundesliga, so I haven't got too much of an issue on that, really. Especially the way we play it. At some points, we are going to get smashed by teams we're not on it. Um, German Cup, part-timers. It was good actually to play someone who wasn't, excuse me, who wasn't um, one of the Bundesliga teams in the first round. We then had this game. We absolutely battered them. They went, they scored a pen and also a wrong goal in the ninety plus three. Um, bit of FM action there. Um, Augsburg, another sort of like strong team in the league. Um, this is the problem that I don't. I'm still unsure. We did play four two four two four for this one. Um, this is when we changed it back. But we're scoring goals, I just need to drop it down. I'm going to have to look, go, go into it, I think, before we start the next game. Um, and we'll have a little change. Then we we played Sandows, and they, they were second, and we absolutely smashed them. Um, Diabate scoring two on his dairy, I think he got them quite early, 27 28, with 3 0 up at half time. They got a consolation. And then Werder Bremen, we went counter, and I think they had 28 shots, and we had five. We are absolutely battered. And that was when Pereira got sent off. So he'll actually be suspended for today's game. So in today's game, we are playing, as we say, we're playing, I think we're playing a smaller team, Hoisting Kiel. Where are Hoisting Kiel? They're pretty low down. Yeah, they're 13th. So it's level on points. So these are the games that we need to be winning. So you see, Christian Beck's had a great, great start to the season. He's banging in goals. He's banging goals, is the boy. He, he's, he's reached his peak. You know, he's 31 now. 32 by the time the season finishes. So he's going to be, he's going to need replacing, unfortunately. Um, let's have a look. I haven't actually looked. See where we stand in terms of salary. Because we've had, a, obviously, a big jump in salary. So we pretty much have gone up. About six hundred grand was it? No, sorry, about one point about one point five million we've gone up there because I think we're just under four. So in terms of whole, you know, squad sizes, we're a million miles behind the others. So I can't get too carried away or too overly excited. But I'm hoping over the next 
in this season really building for next year. Um, do I find him? No, I'm not going to find him. I don't want to upset him. Got a couple of youngsters. If you see the stats, we'll go into the team actually. Um, where we go? Let's have a look. Stats. I'm not going to. I'm going to take off the seven-one smashing. Um, so Diabate is there. Beck Gribben, obviously a decent season. Hackenberg's only played one. Sapi's had a decent start. Look, um, Emmanuel, because I haven't played him that much. He will be sort of like second choice when Gribben. I think Gribben's injured. Yeah, Gribben got injured in the last game. Um, Emmanuel coming there on the left, and then the others have had stinkers. How's the other one? Malon. This is the youngster. So he's again. He's on the up. Still only 17 years old. 7.8, 6.82 in the league. So not too bad. I'm just going to keep plugging and plugging away with him. Um, he's been capped at under 19s already, which is good. Great that Magdeburg have a youth team player. In their um, in their setup, in the German setup. Right, guys, we'll come back. We're three days early, so we'll come back for the game um, in a couple of minutes. Right, guys, we are back. So we've got a couple of in uh, sorry, a couple of one injury, one suspension. So Sapi will come in there as a defensive ball winner in the holding role. Um, let's get Raggett in and see how he does there. I'm gonna pull. I don't like playing defender find weird for I'm just gonna put him there don't like stoppers who get in who sort of like jump in front I prefer my defenders just to drop off especially when they always seem to get caught with the with the balls over the top I'm gonna to keep with Beck and Diabati up front now the other thing is when I was Beck was scoring his goals he was playing as advanced forward so I hope that doesn't stop him too much if anyone sees something that I'm glaring, gl glaringly doing wrong, see the last game we were on standard. Please let me go. Please let me go. <laughs> let me know. Um, so I'm gonna have to change something at some point. Oh, what do we go with bollocks to it? Yeah, my Chelsea one's really different. I'm being a little bit more pragmatic with the Chelsea one. Um, trying to uh, small uh, short passing. I'm actually going to change it, the, the formation. I'm, I'm changing from 4-2-3-1 to a 4-3-1-2, four, four, I think. Um, and we really sort of like slow and methodical in the, in the build-up. I'm just going to put that on balance so we're not too open. And um, that's on normal, that's on normal. And we'll go with that, I think. So here's today's team. Rippling goal, Drews, Raggett, Null, Best, Sapi, Rother, Turpitz on the right, Anderson, Emmanuel on the left. Beck and Diabate up front. We do need a victory. This must be his debut. Give him number five. If anyone's wondering, in fake tan, I've spent the last three days solid. One setting up, a setting up day and then two days out in the sun at a football event at work. So I caught some serious sun. Um, it could be mixing with a bit of muck. At the moment we're like, at the moment we're a bit like Klopp and Liverpool from the, their first season where when they were on it they were absolutely awesome and then, then when they were off the boil we were absolutely shoddy. Are they going to get an early chance? No they're not. So I thought this would be the way to go, just attacking at home, think about it but obviously the one didn't, it didn't work for the Werder Bremen game, I might just stick, oh they're in here. Two minutes on the clock. Oh dear. They're going to be in again here. Let's get a shout in quickly. Concentrate. We're going to have to... Do I change something? I don't know. Let's just bollocks. Let's just let it play. I'd actually thought I'd built a really... We're, in terms of the squad depth as well, the squad depth and the players I've got in centre-half were, were a million times better. Um, 
I'm, I am going to have to maybe rein it in a little bit. Maybe bring him back. Hey, oh, get off my screen. Bring him back. The 4 2 3 1. Having a little bit more control. Might go a bit more boring. Not boring, but shorter passing. Keeping control of the ball. Because here we just get. We waste the ball a lot. We get picked off. So I might, I might have to venture back in now. I did have a lot of success with the 4 2 3 1. With my um, Mallorca save. That was when I played Gribben as an attacking midfielder. So 15 gone, and we've, <laughs> we've somehow had six. Somehow had six chances. Um, they've had three clear cut chances. My life. Out wide, Dibated to Emmanuel cross Beck to Pitts. There we go. Undeserved equaliser. Undeserved. Yep. I don't want you. Show some passion. So 1-1, one, one. always good. This, this is the one thing about having this formation, this shit. We're always going to create chances, I think. Even when we play, if we go attacking, even when we play against the, the good teams, we're always going to create chances. Here we go, ball in the box. Good edit. I'm going to get it back best. Emmanuel, oh, big tackle. Tattle. Oh, we're in. Diabate. Oh, he's missed. You're right, it was a real chance. I'm going to corner. Oh, bloody hell. I've got to sort my set pieces out. That's the centre half. Centre half taking set pieces. Safi back out wide. Cross. I'm a bit lazy with set pieces. I did try and set them up off camera, I think, at the start. And then just didn't bother. I think because I've changed and got rid of a few players. I think that were maybe taking corners and stuff. They've been they've been wiped off. So we're coming up to half time. 1-1. One, one. We've... Gained a little bit of control of the game. I think I am going to give it a little go. We'll train tactics for the next few weeks and we'll, we'll drop it back to a 4 2 3 1. I have got, a, as I said, I've got a few players that can play in there as an attacking. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. Come on. As long as we do. Yeah, we'll go back to a, a, a 4 2 3 1, give it a go. And, we need to be less. We do need to be less open and see if we can get hold of the ball a little bit. I'll tell you what. Why don't we give it a little go? Diabat is having an absolute stinker. We're going to make a couple of changes because he's on a booking. So we get Brian in there. Swap them over. Uh, Babuku Bari. I'm gonna keep the attacking and flexible for now, but I am gonna I am gonna change it. We'll go control, I think. Yeah, any comments guys, something that I'm completely I'm not confessing to be a know all. Even I've had to be fair, FM eighteen has been pretty good to me in the four two four over sort of like the seasons that I've done have, have been good. But there's probably something I'm doing really wrong. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, offside. Right, let's get a... We'll get another sub on. Let's get Shabeni on. Come on, a hat-trick. Because we've got a hat-trick in that German Cup. It's just... Beck. It's hard to leave Beck out because he does take his chances. A lot better. This is going to play out as in a draw. Oh dear. Come on, can we create a chance? Obviously, we do. We will miss Gribben because Gribben's obviously class. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I thought he was going to cross it. I thought it was going to cross it. Oh, the stats looking. Yeah. Three clear cut. We've given them three clear cut chances and four half chances. So we're gonna have to really stop that. Do I play with two defensive midfielders? I don't know. It never looks good. Two defensive midfielders and attacking midfield. Oh, play him in. Play him in. Sapi's in. Oh, good save. He's a decent finisher, Sapi. 
Two minutes of stoppage time left. Is there going to be another chance here? Oh, my life. That's what we do a lot of. Really bad. I was getting a bit of rage last night when we Chelsea save. Just like, just like really bad passes. Is there going to be a chance? Probably for them. No, I think that's going to be it. Here we go. Last chance. Last chance. Oh, we're in. Bubakar. Oh. Oh, Barry. Bubakar, Barry. Could have been a hero, Sam. My dad's called Barry. So that was 99.9% .9 of the reason why I signed him. But to be fair, he did have a decent season. That's going to be it, innit? That's going to be it. We're still playing. That surely is it. Minute, minute over extra, uh, stoppage time. Oh, come on. I have one more. No. That's it. That's it. Right, guys, what we're going to do is, I think we're actually we're going to do this as a big one. Where are we? Mid table. Who do we play next? Cars is loud and away. Right, we will. We won't. We won't do another. I think we've. We've. With this sort of like the recap of the summer transfers, we've gone on a bit. So we will come back by the hard games. I tell you what, we'll come back at the Nuremberg Cup. Cup match. They're in our league. A winnable game. We're playing them back to back. Um. Could do with a little cut run. Bit of cash as well. Yeah, so we'll come back for the Nuremberg game, guys. Look at that. Leipzig. Maybe I think they beat Bayern last year in the cup. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please drop a like in there. Comment, especially about the tactics and formations that I've either been playing or going to be playing. Um, would be um, fantastic. And I will see you at the next one. Thank you.